So friends, in this video, we will see how to find the match or unmatch records in an two array. Okay. Like in SQL, we have the different types of join, inner join, outer join, left inner join, left outer join. So this type of joins, how to create in the power automate, we are seeing in this video. Okay. So let's I go to the make dot power automate. Let's click on the instant cloud flow and take the manual trigger. Let's click on the create. Let's I will give the name to my power automate flow joints in power automate. Okay. So now the, uh, we not needed this co-pilot. So let's I cross this. Then I go here and pin it to the our right hand side okay at this position then uh, we need to have the two arrays okay so let's we go to the add here one compose action okay and let's click on the add into an app okay the compose let's we go and copy one array okay so here I have one array, this I taken from the chat GPT. In this email is my unique column, okay. And in this uh, column, okay, we are checking our values are present in array two or not. Okay? So let's add, give the name to this okay? array one. Let's add one more compose action here, select built in and we have the actions here data operations in the data operation simply select the compose and just let's we give the array to here okay and let's click on the paste let's call this array two let's i go and pin this action and this one so you can be see in our first one we have the user 4 user 4 is common okay and one more is user 6 is common okay so you can see here is user 6 is present and user 6 okay so in the first okay so let's we find the matching records in these two arrays okay so which are the matching records okay user 4 okay and user 6 are the matching records so which type of joint this is the inner joint okay so let's we go add an action here filter array so let's i click on the built-in data operations in the data operations we need the filter array action okay so in the filter array action we need the output from the array one okay and here we need the output of array 2 okay but in the string format so what we do is string let's open here let's give the dynamic content of array 2 and just click on the add okay and here we will give a contain okay and let's go to the power effects the type we item question mark square bracket in the string format email this is our we are giving column name so what basically happening here we are simply checking one by re one record okay in the array one okay so first it will came we will get the user four value okay so we will check in this entire array two okay it is present or not so let's i go here and pin this one as well pin this action Okay. only one action we can pin okay no problem so let's we go click on the save and test so what output should we get we should get the user 4 and the user 6 output here okay the flow is ready to go so let's click on the test manually and click on the test So our flow is running just 
click on the done our actions are run successfully in the filter array okay so we are getting the union from it is coming blank okay it takes some time that's why we are showing the blank one now input you can be see we have all the records but in the output in the filter array action we are getting the two records okay user 4 and user 6 okay so by using this trick we are able to find the union without using the union function okay so let's uh, go and click on edit let's click on the filter action let's rename this let's call it here matching records and let's add a comment here add a note union so we are done the union let's we go add one more action here and this time we will try to find out the unmatched records okay that is not matching okay excluding 4 and 6 we want all the records so let's we go click on the here let's unpin this action let's use here action okay array 1 Let's we go. Click on here. Okay. Click here string. Open bracket. Let's we go dynamic content and select the array two. And just click on the add. Does not contain. We will use does not contain. Let's click on this power effects. Let's type here item. Vishma. and let's click on the add so let's we save this and run our power automate flow manually and just click on the test so our power automate flow is now running okay let's wait for the output Let's we go to the second filter array and let's see the output here. So in the output, you can be see, excluding four and six, we are getting all the records like user two, user three, user seven, user eleven, user twelve. All the records we are getting, excluding the four and six. Okay. Let's I go here. Just click on the edit array one. Let's I pin this. Click on the array two. So what we are checking the filter array one, we are checking user four. Okay, does not contain in this. Okay. So and we are getting this all the output like five, six, ten, and other such. Okay. So let's we go here and change the name of this array. Match records. Let's we find one uh, right joint now. Okay. Let's we go and click here. Add a action. Go to the built-ins. data operation and just click on the filter array so here we will give simply output of array 2 and simply we go in the string format here let's click on the dynamic content let's select the output here Just simply click on the add power effects. 
type here item mr square bracket e just click on the add shamma and then email here simply click on the add here okay and on the basis of this you can be do the whichever joint you have to create you can simply create okay like does not contain equal to greater than outer than less than st start with okay so according to your condition okay so you can be create any type of joint okay if you want the any help in this okay you can pin me on the comment box okay because i think i explained the logic to you all the things you can be easily do um, let's say 